uh, which is link which is provided from the guideline uh, some jobs but some some jobs are not really there and so on then i, I was I, I was thinking that before that it is easy to search or get that job as you described and uh, i learned a lot about how to search the job and the, the criteria it is a gap between the requirements and the uh, my knowledge also i try to to, to understand that uh, uh, and uh, also the the how 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 i'm going to prepare for those job which is uh, the world of job uh, how i going to prepare myself uh, and so on uh, from uh, the second uh, career uh, which is provided as a peer, uh, then we 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 had uh, 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 how to introduce myself, and I, I think that how how could I start uh, talking with the person which I didn't know before, uh, and so on. Then after after we start communicating, we can easily uh, 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 pass to that, uh, and uh, uh, I, I had I had. Uh, uh, we had a, a, a long uh, discussion, so it is more than 25 minutes, uh, and uh, we share experience and so on. And uh, I like that part. Uh, that's uh, what I have. Thank you. That, that's good. So, uh, Lisa, if you can just speak uh, as fast as you can so we can get started. Hello? Yeah, yeah, Josiah, can you speak? I see you, you raised your arm. Josiah, can you speak? Uh, I, I already okay. speak. You, you don't hear me? <laughs> okay. No, 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 no. I, I said Josiah. Okay. Can you speak Josiah? Please, as fast as you can. Yes. Okay, okay. Yes. So, uh, oh, yes, uh, last week we had two uh, sciences, and the first one was. It's a little bit difficult because the new job and the chairman job. It's coming again. I said the new old job and the chairman job. Can you just go straight to the point? Oh, okay. So uh, it was quite difficult for me to find some entry level jobs, and uh, I tried. I tried, but after I've got a comment on the platform so that only one of what I found uh, was suitable to the objective. But uh, w when I was searching, I was, was really difficult and I just tried to choose what I have found, but that was it. About the second one, the second exercise was very uh, and exciting and has impacted me because I've made a friend and my partner was very nice and he was was very open and we discussed about a lot of things. Now I can see that we are uh, we are close somehow and we, we are friends now. So um, I get a lot of things from that second exercise. That's all. Okay. Thank you. That's good. That's good. Uh, regarding the first one you said, you know, you're finding for to get to uh, uh, an entry level job. What I would advise you to do is just now your search, maybe while you're searching, you use keyword. When you use keywords like junior data engineer, then you start. You see a lot of data engineering jobs that that is open to entry level. So the basic thing is just now your search using keyword and you and you get as many jobs as you want. Yeah. When you make, yeah. Yeah, okay. I did that. I did that, but it, it was still difficult because. Okay. How many and, platforms? How many platforms did you did you explore? Were you uh, just limited to LinkedIn, or you explored other? No, I explored other. I think that you you provided some in the in the document. So yeah, yeah. yeah uh, I, the one I went provided through all of them. them. I went the through one, all of them. Okay. okay. The one we provided on the tutorial was as a guide. But you can just go on and explore as many search 
Geoxception in Ukraine. And as far as you don't start staying on Google, and they are not looking to go to go, you can go ahead. There's a lot of job. The, 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 job, the job market will not contain all of us if, if you are able to, to look for um, It just depends on how you narrow your search. Is that clear? Yes, it's clear. Okay, okay. Uh, let's get started. Morgan, can you just start the presentation? Okay, so thank you for sharing. I hope you guys are having a an awesome time getting to learn more about how the soft skills with the careers exercise. I think it's important to as well acquaint yourself with that knowledge because at the end of the day, um, it is recommended for you when you get a job. So this week we'll be having only one careers exercise and it is tools for remote work. So we'll be focusing on having this um, remote work tools that is Slack, Notion, Google Meet and Calendly. So <clears throat> as we all know, when you guys finish the course, you'll be probably um, looking for jobs. And I know with machine learning, the most recommended way to work is I think remote, you know. So with remote work, you will be needed to have basic knowledge and skills on how to go to go about and navigate your way through using certain working tools. For example, Slack, um, Notion, Google Meet, Calendly. For now, I'm sure you guys are able to navigate through Slack and you, are, you know a bit about Notion as well as Google Meet because that is what you guys were working on uh, the previous week. And we'll be introducing also Calendly this week. So of course, Slack is, it is, uh, an operating system that allows you to connect, um, share, talk with people from all over the world. It is ideally for the working space, instead of having emails, you know, emails can be a bit, um, what can I say? It can be too much because um, sometimes people feel like you have to be formal. Uh, and with emails, it, it can be, you will be working too much with it. If, I don't know if I'm making sense, <laughs> but with Slack, Slack is a simple way to formally and also informally uh, make decisions, share ideas. And it is considered to just make operations be faster. Yeah. And I've, I don't know if you guys have acquainted yourself with Notion. Uh, but I'm sure you guys have seen what Notion is because that is what you're using right now with Gen Academy to just check on what you're having during the week. Um, so Notion is basically a project management tool that organizes tasks. And with this, you can be able to just plan your week, your month. You just put everything down. It can be also incorporated with other... Um, tools as well, such as Google, so that it can be easy for you to navigate through the working tools that you're using. Uh, Google Meet is self-explanatory because it is what we're using right now. Yeah. So um, with the previous exercise, I noticed that most of you um, actually did a great job. You understood the assignment, so kudos for that. And for those who didn't, um, really understand what was going on, um, you will get to also understand in this, in this exercise that you're having. And also we have something called Calendly. So with Calendly, um, ideally, or rather essentially, we, if you, if you are, if you're someone who is running an organization or you're someone who um meets a lot of people and you want to talk to them 
So instead of using Google Calendar to schedule, because sometimes um, things may just go, things not, may not work out. So Calendly is a working tool whereby you can just send someone um, an invite for them to schedule a meeting with you within the time you will be able to, you will be available. So um, you share your calendar with someone and they choose the time that they will be available. But while you're sharing on your side, it shows the time that you're available. So both of you are able to have a meeting that is convenient. Okay, so um, also with the, with the working, while working remote, uh, there are a few things that you also need to know and understand. Um, sorry, I'm just... Sorry guys, I live close to uh, where planes move. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so what I was saying is, well, Working remotely, there are a few things that will be required for you to understand or just be acquitted with. Um, there's something called an onboarding document. That is basically a document that um, orients you on what uh, the organization does or what roles that will be required to do, your job description, the things that you are I needed to sign maybe a contract, you know, um, to familiarize yourself with the organization. It could be how uh, they do things in a, their culture, you know, um, their policies and procedures, their working tools, um, to also familiarize yourself with um, what exactly you will be Okay, the benefits, so an onboarding document is important and how you present it to the person who you are hiring is also very important because it depicts how the government, how the organization is, sorry, and how your company runs itself and works. So if um, the first week probably you guys take uh, five days to onboard someone or a day or two, and you give someone the documents to sign or just familiarize. If the document is not well put or organized or doesn't give a good understanding, you might find that the person does not want to join you. So it's important to have a good onboarding document. Um, so I would like to take you through what a Kanban format methodology is. Um, Kanban is essentially uh, something that is used worldwide to just um, help you with your project management or just uh, manage your projects. Uh, so with this um, method, you'll be required to um, use it while creating uh projects on notion okay so i just want to make you understand what kanban is so i'll just read what we have here so a kanban board is a straightforward product management tool that aims to limit work in progress and thus maximize efficiency uh, by making all of the core tasks visible at glance they present a way of breaking down a large task into bit-sized chunks that help you blast through it. You can manage this task, assigning reasonable deadlines to each and keep you on task and make you more productive. So traditionally, they consist of three columns, to do, doing, and done. This is like um, you have a to-do list. Um, this could be prioritized or maybe a backlog then on another section you have a work in progress that is doing what is being done and then on another section you have something that is done 
or complete or validated. So the Kanban format methodology or notion basically looks like this. I don't know if you guys are able to see well, um, but as you can see here, we have to-do lists and this is a working progress and this is completed. So if you're working on a project or uh, for example, the projects that you have done past, you can, you can just um, be able to organize yourself. So you can write, you can maybe just put a project somewhere here. And if something is supposed to be done, of course, you just put them here. Then if something is supposed to be done or is still in progress, you're still doing it, you put it here, but you should be able to limit yourself so that you can have an efficient project. This means that um, the Kanban, Kanban, Kanban format methodology was ideally to was it ideally um, formed to ensure that um, you do your work in a moderate but in an efficient way. So um, you can be able to limit your work in progress um, section. Maybe you have two or three uh, work in progress. And then after having a work in progress, you can have your validated or done work. This Kanban is just a method to, to be able to organize your work, your tasks, your projects, whatever it is that you're doing. Okay. So in the exercises we oh sorry in the exercise we have provided more um guidelines on how to learn about the kanban format or methodology um but essentially is just having three uh sections a to-do list where your all your projects are then the working in progress and then the ones that is completed and validated, you know, so it's not something that is it's hard. It's not hard. Yes. And then now to the exercise, what you're required. So uh, essentially you're required to write a document that will be used to guide and make a better understanding of how to use this remote work tools that is Slack notion and calendly okay so um creating uh with the document you also will be required to create a workflow on google slides not more than six of them on the following yes this work tools remote work tools are very important slack notion and calendly and the reason why we've chosen these three is because slack is for communicating you need to communicate while working remotely and slack gives you a good way of communication notion is a project management tool so it organizes all the tasks that you're required to do it schedules everything it brings in everything that you're required to do and calendly also allows you to organize your meetings in such a way that it is convenient in your time and also the person who you'll be having the meeting with. So um, you will also be required to submit it in a Google Classroom. Of course, you know that because that is where we submit everything. And this is the deadline on Friday, 8 p.m. UTC. And if you have any questions, reach out to me, Maureen or Sadiq on Slack. And now, Sadiq, you can ask, you can go ahead and add on anything. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mommy. That was a great one. Um, I, I like the way you, you shed more light into students' use for remote work. Uh, it is expected at this stage. They, obviously, they already will do, and they should understand what are the tools they've been using for this throughout their learning process. Notwithstanding, we might still have a few of them who don't understand it, uh, what the whole task is all about. 
basically let me just give you a quick recap. Can you just share me the slide the first page? What this whole task is all about is uh are you there Morgan? Can you just share me the slide? The first page. Thank you. What this whole exercise is all about is uh the tools that you're using for your remote work. In every as we all know we're in the first century and that machine learning engineering, data engineering, and basically all computing work uh, are now moving towards the direction that they allow you to work from home, which is a very beautiful innovation. But as well, while you're working at home, you don't need to be in your office setting, but the best thing, you, you still need to have a lot of equipment. Because you're working at home, you are prone to you are prone to forgetting a lot of tasks. So that's where the notion and calendar come, comes in. They help you schedule and plan tax properly. And the Slack, as you all know, it's just like our messenger app where you, you, you get information, share information, and communicate with your team on the work. So basically what we're expecting you to do is we just want you to get familiar with this uh, tools because by the end of your career, by the end of your technical training here with STEM Academy, you will be expected to go and look for jobs. And most likely, a few of you will secure remote work. And when you secure that remote work, it's very important that uh, you are familiar with whatever type of platform a company or organization is incorporating. So that's why we're exposing you to a few of them, so you can, uh, you can, you can be able to, you know, how to earn them. However, we are only exploring you to a few of them. You can get into an organization that doesn't use Slack, but they will definitely use a messaging or uh, communication application that is similar to Slack. So what we're trying to prove or what we're trying to teach is just. We want you to get familiar with any type of tool. Now, having an idea working with Slack, when you see another messenger application, you know, oh, I have an I have an idea working with Slack. So automatically, this is how I should be able to work with this, how I should be able to work with this. So basically, we just want you to have a proper knowledge of all of these tools. And this exercise, uh, as you can see from the slide, it is required that you write a document that be used as a guide and make a better understanding of how to use remote work. So we just want you to prepare a document and give us a better understanding of how this remote work, how they work and how to use them. Mm -hmm. uh, the exercise guide said you should create a workflow on six global slides, not on the following remote work to slash notion and all. And the submission is a project file soon. This this appears to be a very simple task, but you need to put in a lot of work uh, concentration. And if you know you are not familiar with this slack and this notion, you can just please ask your question so we can walk you through the old features so before you can do your task. In the meantime, besides I observed you raised your hand earlier on, that implies you have a question. Can you just unmute yourself and speak? Yes, uh, I actually have a question. I yes. saw that you said that we will uh, write a document of six slides. So I would like to 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 know if we write six slides for each tool. Morgan, are you there? Okay, so let me just go back. No, no, no. What is asking if? Uh, mm -hmm. You have to create six slides for each of the two, or six slides for all of the two. I I think it's six. It's six slides for all of the two, because you can't you can't create six slides for each of them. Or what do you think, Molly? Yeah. So for me, I I think that. Uh, because um, there are instructions and guidelines that you will be required to to follow so that you can be able to create those six, six slides. There are certain guidelines that are in the exercise. So uh, 
what essentially you're supposed to do is in the six lights just have um just have the three um working tools that is calendly notion and slack because the the other things that you're supposed to incorporate is just not only um showing what they are doing there's uh a requirement in the exercise there is a step by step um guideline that you're supposed to follow i i hope that makes sense to you yes it does. Thank you. that's nice uh do you have any other person that's not clear who can just shed more light into the book yeah, I just have a quick question. Is this a specific PowerPoint shared in the week two folder? No, we've not shared the PowerPoint, but uh, in the end of at the end of this session, I will share it on the Slack Careers channel. So this uh, this guide also contains the tutorial guide, so you can you can have it at the end of this session. But overall, all what we want to but we'll share this PPT and the end. The rest are short. Yeah, okay. Thank you. I just wanted to have the guidelines. Yeah. Okay. No Thank problem. you. No problem. Okay. So for the guidelines, we we have shared it on your folder. So yeah. just go to your folder and you'll find it there because it has more requirements and tips, you know. So for the PPT presentation is just essentially to walk you through what you're supposed to, what you're expected to do so that you have a clear understanding. But what is more important is the, the actual career exercise word document that is found in your folder. But also we, it is also just embedded in this PPT presentation where we have the blue guidelines, um, that is on that is marked in the blue color you can just still find it there but of course it's in your folder so <laughs> okay so uh the guideline is uh in the week two career exercise folder the one uh, yes that is, uh google Doc documents tools for remote work yes that is the guideline okay yeah. thank you Thank you very welcome. much. Okay. You're most welcome. If you have any clear, if you need any clarification or you have a question, please go ahead and ask because now you have the time. Anyone? Okay, Osman, you can speak. Uh, yes, hello. <clears throat> uh, so my question is, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, we can. <laughs> yes, uh, uh, in, in the requirements for, for the exercise, we are supposed to schedule a meeting with one of the our career tutors. So um, when are we supposed to do this? Uh, and what, what, what day? Uh, is it a special um, um do you have a date for for this meeting or how should it work okay so emptina and i see that you've already looked at how the exercise is so if you follow through the guidelines there is a link on currently that has been provided and when you just follow the link it will automatically give you days and the time that you can be able to just schedule a meeting. Okay. Is that okay? <clears throat> okay, yes. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. Welcome. Eku Basli. Who's, who's next? Okay. Uh, good, uh, how are you guys? Uh, actually, my, my question is similar. Uh, was similar with her, but to add something. So we are going to prepare uh, a PowerPoint based on those old questions. Sorry, come again. 
I, I was looking the exercise, the uh, document. So are we supposed to prepare a PowerPoint based on those questions? Um, we actually don't have any questions, but it's just um, typically guidelines, uh, requirements that you're supposed to follow through a step-by-step. -step. Yeah, so you are supposed to present it in a PowerPoint form, the six slides. Mm. Okay. Okay, thank you. Margaret? Um, hi, my question is about uh, the remote tool. Um, so I think I already asked this during on Slack, but I never really got an answer. Um, Sometimes when uh, we're given uh, classes and the schedule on Notion, and sometimes it's hard to trace back to find the link for Notion and get the link for a meeting. I ask if it's possible to automatically just import the schedule time and the link for the meeting directly into Google Calendar. Um, such that it can always notify you prior that you have a meeting connection and the link is there. And, um, is there a tool that uh, makes that easy? Okay, is it in regards to just generally or specifically for the exercise? Um, no, it's just general, like how mm -hmm we have uh, our schedules on Notion, how you can just import all the whole schedule that is going to your Google Calendar. Okay, um, that's a very good question. And I think, I, I know it's possible, but I'm sure that our team had a reason why it is not. But I will as well just ask Abdullahi or Ebilian and then we will let you know but uh, it's a very good idea <laughs> thanks okay, thank you. any put up with stones uh do you have anyone with put up with stones before we move on So, since uh, we don't have any further questions, so now let's let's talk about uh, the fair mentoring assignment. Do we have anyone yet to complete the assignment, the fair mentoring? Maybe anyone that not be able to, to speak to anyone regarding their the assignment. Can you just signify so we know? Okay, we don't have any. Um, that implies we are all set for, we are all done with the payment for assignment. So as it stands, when, when are they supposed to submit to this task? Sorry, which one? This particular one. Um, the one that we're having the session today, so it's, to, it's on Friday. Okay, okay. so uh, you can yeah. just put a lot of work. So the earlier you start, uh, the better. So I advise you to start early. So before Friday, if you are encountering any problem before you make your submission, you can reach out to me or Molly. So we will better guide you. That way, when you make your submission, you have a very good score. Is that clear? I would so, like to. Okay. okay. Just... Yeah, you can go on. Okay, so I'd just like to just mention that if you're having any problems or you need any clarification, it's better to raise it up before, before you, you submit. Yeah, before you submit. And is this good to 
to just understand that we are here for you guys. We just want you to win. And also, um, you guys are doing a good job, by the way. You guys are doing an awesome job continue with the uh, grit and resilience. I know you guys have a lot of work to do, but you are doing an awesome job. Continue continue working towards your goals and just and just be um what is the word? Don't give up. That is the word. Do not give up. There's a reason why you decide to apply and be part of Tin Academy and just continue continue if you feel like it's a bit overwhelming just reach out to someone that you feel can help you or you know because at the end of the day we are not human is to error of course but you have to remind yourself why you started okay so don't give up please reach out to um the team in Ten academy or your peer mentor or whoever you feel like is you're comfortable with to just share okay but you guys are doing a good job kudos um, i think that's all but we still have a lot of time on the, on the clock i think this this session is supposed to end in the next 20 minutes so what do you suggest do we go or we just keep working with through the exercise. Yeah, so if anyone of you has anything to share, you can go ahead. Yeah. Um, so before we end the session, anyone, anything, and just. <laughs> yes, Margaret. I just wanted to say thank you for the session. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So if you guys are good, then what do you think, Sadiq? Yeah, we can just uh, we can just go, and if you have any uh, any issue, please do reach out to us. We are always here to help you. Um, I'll also I'll always advise you before you make your submission, try and start your uh, your, your your work as early as possible, so that uh, at least before the submission deadline, you have identified the mistakes you've made, so you can reach out to us. We'll give you a proper guideline, individual guideline. So when you make your submission, you won't be having a lot of negative feedback. Is that fair? So in the meantime, since we don't have anything to go to do, uh, I wish you a good day and I look forward to your submission. However, uh, we are almost done grading your previous work and we get to the seniors as soon as possible. Cheers. Um, before we go, does someone want to say something on Ten Academy? Someone from Ten Academy had raised their hand. Okay. Okay, thank you guys. Have a lovely day. Cheers. Bye.